Do I come from a family of neuroscientists? No. My, my father was a, a vicar, my mum was a school teacher. Absolutely no neuroscience in the family at all, in fact no science in the family at all. My mum, she brought up children for a living before having her own. And then my dad, he makes concrete blocks for a living. My dad was a businessman, my mum was a teacher, my sister's a teacher. A lot of people think that they have to have grown up amongst scientists or have always had science around them to become a scientist, and that definitely isn't the case. You don't have to be a scientist to be interested in the brain. At some point we've all thought, why did I think that, why did I do that? Well, I was always interested in how the brain works, always, even when I was on TV, and I'd interview somebody, I'd try to put their mind together like a Rubik's Cube and to figure out what made them them. I first was inspired to start thinking about the brain when I was a school teacher. And it was then that I really became interested and enthusiastic about learning. And I wanted to know more about how learning occurs. And then of course you begin to realise that you can't really understand learning without thinking about the brain. Neuroscience is really important because it's all about understanding the nervous system and the brain. And really it's the nervous system that enables us and all animals to interact with the world around us. Without the nervous system we wouldn't be able to hear other people, we wouldn't be able to see the world around us, we wouldn't have relationships. And so neuroscience helps us understand how that works. And it's also really important because of course when it goes wrong it has all sorts of impact on people through say stroke or Parkinson's disease or chronic pain. In relation to Parkinson's in particular, many, many people see Parkinson's just as um, an old person's disease. And there are so many younger people developing the disease now. And neuroscience is central in teaching people and educating people to this effect. I always think it's so bizarre that um, if, if the brain goes down or you have a mental illness, people send you any other organ, they'll send you sympathy cards and flowers. But if the brain goes down, nothing. And you think, well, this is the mothership. Everything is a trickle effect. I, I can't understand it. And they say, oh, it's mental, like it's an air bubble. But this is who I am. There, any other part, it's just a piece of meat. The study of neuroscience is so important, partly because we still know so little about the brain. The notion that the brain develops in adolescence is a new phenomenon. When I was an undergraduate 25 years ago, I was taught uh, that the brain mostly develops in early childhood. The human brain undergoes very substantial and protracted development right throughout childhood, but also throughout adolescence and even into the 20s and 30s. Um, it develops both in terms of its structure, so for example, how much grey matter and white matter it contains, and also function, so its activity during various different cognitive tasks, changes with age between adolescence and adulthood as well. I mean, neuroscience, I would see as the, uh, the queen of the sciences. It's the most challenging and, and uh, intellectually demanding of all science, the brain is the most complex organ in the whole of the universe, responsible for this amazing culture we have called humanity. But it's uh, really very complicated, fascinating. It can go wrong in so many different ways. Just so much to know, so much to understand, so much to research. My research at present falls into the category of neuroscience, psychology and translational science and if you think about the fact that mental health disorders for example, which is just sort of one area of neuroscience research, you know, one in six people suffer from mental health disorders and that's really um, a massive number of people that are affected by these conditions. I think that treating these conditions is so important and neuroscience helps us to understand the brain so that we can treat the mind. Physical is mental, mental is physical and if you fix that everything like addiction, obesity, infertility, certain cancers, diabetes too, uh, crime, why do you think that happens, will fall into place. Now the things I find fascinating about neuroscience, I think I would everybody should find fascinating, that is trying to find out more about myself, how my brain works, how my mind works, what it is that makes people tick. I'm always astonished that people don't find the nervous system the most amazing thing because basically it's everything. It's everything you feel, it's everything you say, it's everything you do, and, and it's all of your emotions. And, and it actually creates narratives about what's going on. It's just extraordinary.
Well, I refer to all brains as the mothership because it runs everything. If something breaks, unless a meteorite falls on your head, it usually has to do with something up here. I would encourage people to study neuroscience because neuroscience is absolutely key to understanding how we think, how we learn and how we behave. And who amongst us has not been fascinated by the human behaviour of ourselves and others? I would like to change myself. I would like to improve myself. I would like to be a better person. And I don't know how to do that. And I, I'm looking for science to actually give me some hints. It is just the most fascinating subject. It is not only the most complex part of the body, but it's the part that it explains to you why we are, who we are, why we do, what we do. I mean, what could be more interesting? If someone wants to study neuroscience, I would celebrate with them and say, fantastic, right decision. Most exciting life course you can take. It's gonna be hard, it's gonna be difficult. Uh, it's gonna be challenging. You'll never understand it all. But just by getting into this field, starting engaging in this activity, you will really discover a lot that you'd never even imagined.